So while I was in the military, I was doing PT one day. Boring! I mean, continue, please. This is a fun story. <laughs> it's, embar so. it's embarrassing for me. I have to do sit-ups, so I sit down on the ground, I start doing sit-ups, and I start feeling this itching on my thighs and on my, my ball sack. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a lot of pain. That's way too much pain. That should not be that much pain. And I look down and realize, I've been sitting on top of a fire ant hill. And the fire ants are transferring icy hot to your genital area, which the is fire ants bit me, I think, like 30 times on my balls. <laughs> yeah. How? Okay. How did they get through your trousers and undergarments? Well, I wasn't wearing undergarments. I was just wearing my PT shorts. Oh, that makes sense. So they climbed up my butt crack and went onto my balls and bit me a bunch of times on my butt, on my thighs, and on my balls. And that was a lot of pain. And I basically didn't do anything for two days. I laid in bed and went, oh, this hurts so fast. Why? Why? Maybe next time you'll learn to look. Yeah, your maybe butt next time I'll make sure that I look before I start doing sit ups somewhere. Maybe next time you'll learn to look before you sit on an anthill. Moral of the story, don't sit next to a fire anthill and let him just chew on your it's not gentleman's a, region. It, it's not a moral, it's just practical advice. I would assume that if you were a lady and they bit you on your lady bits, that probably wouldn't be any more pleasurable. I wouldn't know. Now that I've told you that story about my past. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm so glad that you were able to confide in me and also these two randos that we just picked up recently. Yeah, these two random people. Well, they weren't listening. I made them put in earplugs beforehand. <laughs> Guys, stop listening to your music. Joshua. Joshua, stop listening to your music. There we go. We're going inside the bunker. Come on. All right, we found David's back hatch. No. <laughs> <laughs> High five. From downtown. Woo! Slam dunk. Let's be stealthy about this. We might be able to get the drop on, David. We probably can. Shh. All right, I'll open the door. You guys throw the flashbangs in. What? I got a frag grenade. Ooh. I can do that. All right, throw the frag grenade in there. Eh, sure. This what? room is empty. I've got all these grenades. All right, you can throw a grenade. What's the point if there's no one to explode? They're fun to watch go off. And not fireworks, Zach. We didn't... Oh, oh God, I got knocked out! <laughs> You begin to feel woozy. I begin to feel woozy. The smell of fresh lavender fills your head, and you begin to see the night sky. I will lay down now. All four of us got knocked unconscious at the same time. Good. You awake? <laughs> that yes. was a weird way to say that. Yes, I am. <laughs> We're both conscious. I didn't know you spoke well. How's it going? <laughs> What? What? No, I'm in a hole. Welcome to here, unwelcome me, so we love to all welcome. Please, make yourself at home. Okay. I'm just going to deal with our other guests. <laughs> God! <laughs> what the heck is going on? You feel funny, the world around you is fine, but the words you hear are not ones you're familiar with. I'm gonna ride this dragon, baby! Ride the dragon! <laughs> well... I certainly feel at home. I just have to deal with our other- Yes! <laughs> oh, he's gone! Ah, oh, jeez! I didn't see where he went! Where'd he go? I don't know, where's everybody else? You're an MP, Joshua. I'm a what? Joshua! What? You're an MP. Is Joshua being tortured? I'm an MP. Yes, Joshua. You're an MP. You're, you're an MP. But I'm just Joshua. You're a military police. No, well, the different thing. Just Joshua. God! An MP? I'm just Joshua. No! <laughs> just Joshua. <laughs> You're an MP. So much is being established. <laughs> I'm not an MP, David. Joshua. You're an MP. A mild primister. Isn't it, David, you fat oaf? I'm not a flippin' MP. No, it's something in British Parliament. <laughs> My god. I don't give a flip, you fiery basket. I'm not a flipping MP. You tell him, Joshua! Listen, Joshua. You're going to go to England and do Brexit. And you're going to be pleased about it. <laughs> I don't want to do your flipping paperwork, your basket case. 
Stick it up, you flipping. My flipping what? <laughs> David, you're pushing me over the line. You're not. <laughs> you're MP. <laughs> you're going to go to law school, and you're going to do paperwork. You'll get a seat. You'll get a flipping secretary. I'm going to put my junk in the secretary. <laughs> Someone just got shot! Oh, I did that when I was younger. And that was a bad move. Hey! He put his balls in the secretary. Joshua, are you okay? Did you shoot somebody or did you get shot? It's kind of hard to make out. Oh, you're back. <laughs> hey! Sorry about that, man. We'll come with. Wait. What's that noise? <laughs> On. If you need stimmy packs, make sure to come to me. Oh, you're Have too kind, Mercury. Thank you. Soon. Where'd he pop off to? <laughs> How'd you get in here, David? Broke. <laughs> you crashed the game? I don't think David was supposed to get in the cell with us. <laughs> you sure? Maybe he wants to enjoy some high fives. We got plenty to go around, David. Oh, Woohoo! You're a flipping MP. Not an MP. You're an MP! You're an MP! You're an MP! You're not listening. I'm not an MP. You're an MP! No, you're not listening. You are an MP! Woo! They let you keep your clothes and your gun. They took everything from me and gave me these weird polyagonal feet. No, I'm pretty sure your mother gave you those. Don't you talk about my mom's feet. Dang, I got a huge bulge! <laughs> <laughs> you think you do. You're bold, boy! Look at that thing! Holy crap! Yeah, yeah, I know you've been patting it. Woo! You knew you'd get kidnapped and stripped naked today and try to impress me by shoving a bunch of cotton balls in your pants. <laughs> it's not a bunch of cotton balls. It ain't gonna work on me. It's a wool sock. <laughs> <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Who's that dead body over there? Boop. boop. Dead body. He's a dead body. His name is Dead Body. He's really dead. You got any sixes? I don't have any sixes. None of us have any sixes. None of us brought a deck of cards. You got any fours? I spy with my little eye something that's pulsing red. Is it Mercury? You guessed it again! How did you know? Because you always pick Mercury! Every single time you've picked Mercury so far. I'm going this time, and I'm not picking your beret like I did last time. <laughs> you say that, but... I spy with my little eye something red that starts with B. Is it a brain belonging to Mercury? Or is it a beret? Because those are the only two things here! Damn it! I spy with my little eye really messed up feet. What else are you going to do except compare body hair? Uh, Mercury, you want to compare body hair? Mercury doesn't have any body hair. Mercury, you want to compare brain creases? I'll pull up my brain really quick. <laughs> oh, Joshua. Did you get exploded in the nuts? Did you get shot in the testes? Yeah, what did I just see? Here. It what did I just experience? <laughs> Where am I? You must have been hallucinating still. When we walked in, you started going all funny than barking. Then you fell over. Well, I do bark a lot. Must have been the sleeping gas we got hit with. Ah, the nuts. Show me my package. We need to get rid of these bastards and get the machine. Um... Baloney! Sleeping gas doesn't work on Mercury! I've got a stim pack. Just give me a second. Uh, also, doors open. Would you like a stimmy pack instead? It's a shame that Tops is usually fully booked. They have great room service. Why are you talking about room service when you just got <laughs> shot in the testicles? Where's all my crap? <laughs> oh! Look who it is! How the- Rocco! Oh, I can't believe her since you found out about the meeting. I have a key for the door. It's the same as the Tops bag vault one. Why would- okay. I oh, forgot about that. Also, they put your stuff in that metal chest over there, between you two cells. I'll get the door! Yeah, he's already got his clothes back. Uh, you didn't even need us! Alright, fine. Oh, okay, he's just gonna teleport out of here. Or he's gonna try. <laughs> I think he keeps getting stuck in the box. Did he teleport to the other side of it? Oh, that, there, there he is. There he goes! Alright, who's this dead body? Guy Forks. Ah, uh, it's like Guy Fox, but he's... Dead. Unlike the real Guy Fox, who is alive in all of our hearts. Uh, Rocco, can you open open the door, please, Rocco? Rocco, open the door. No. 
Rocco, open the door. I don't want to. Please, Rocco. Can you please open the door? No. Open the door, Rocco, please. Great, I can't kill him and take the key. <laughs> Maybe once Rocco wakes up, he'll open the door for us. The MPs are here! Death to the Parliament of Great Britain! America forever! Dump your tea in the ocean! This is a political thing now! Hey, we got some bottle caps! They're counterfeit! But, but they're so good counterfeit that no one will be able to tell the difference. Isn't that right, dead MP? Member of Parliament? Maybe it's that. Joshua, get out of that table! <laughs> We've killed all the MPs! We want to talk to you about it! We have a problem. David isn't here, and neither of the cap presses. We need to get to him now before he disappears with them. Also, so cappuccino machine! We haven't finished with that joke either! So what now? Look around. Surely they must have a note or message or something related to the machines. I bet it's on that computer right over there! Since Rocco knew about the door, ask him if he heard anything about the machines. Yo, Rocco! You heard anything about the machines? No to the machines! <laughs> but they're on the center table! MPs are all serious, we're talking about money! <laughs> All right, let's read this note. The host members, we need to place the cap presses somewhere! Non-suspicious, perhaps at the abandoned shack east of Guardian Peak. Yeah, no one ever goes to Guardian Peak. There are no patrols there, completely unoccupied and easy to access! Coordinates attached to this note for further information. Thank you, David. Post script. If you find any bodies in the room, please feel free to have your way with them. Gross. Everyone in this organization is all about corpses. Hey, Joshua. If you're done dancing on the table, Joshua. Uh, yeah, we have stuff to do, so stop dancing on the table. We may have found a lead on where those cat presses are. Y you were standing on it. Let me see that. Ah. He's on the lake, making a break for it. We need to stop him before he leaves. Let's go. We'll cut him off at Coyote Pass! I think this is it. We found a boat, but I don't see David or the cat pressing machine. Boat to the Mojave Wasteland! I thought we were already here, but I <laughs> guess not. Is it gonna take us to the middle of the desert? No, it took us to this place. Oh! Okay. David's boat and shack. Oh, he's got some lovely stairs to his shack. Look, there's the Legion camp right over there! So it's not Lake Mead, it's the Colorado River? It's the Colorado River. We're just like slightly down the river. And the Legion <laughs> camp is right there. I could have walked. Why did it make me take the boat? It was asinine. I'm getting in here. I'm shooting David just on principle. Damn it. David isn't here. We need to get to the boat now. Damn we it. Well, he just said we have to get to the boat. We were just at the boat. He wasn't in the boat. No, the other boat. Which other boat? There's another boat out there. Oh, okay. I saw it using my excellent perception. Okay, then. Let's take See this boat. Oh, the bigger boat. Is ah, yes. The USS David's boat. <laughs> All right, let's deal with David. Yeah! Aha. Oh, hello! It's more MPs. They are not going to have a parliament when we're done with them. Just call me Guy Fox, because I'm taking out the MPs. Remember, remember the 20th of August. Limp away! <laughs> Death to Parliament! Murdering all these politicians has sure got me in a good mood. Ha ha! These are the cat pressing machines. We shove them to one side to be picked up later by Rocco's men. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> we, sh we also shrunk them down to very small. That little speck right there, that is the bottle pressing machine. It's so easy to transport when you're using this kind of technology. Yes, using my shrinking shotgun. We have great room service. Oh, David! We've killed every member of Parliament! You're next! Oh, look, they got their beds all lined up in here. This is the world's biggest internals to the world's smallest boat. Like that airplane <laughs> yeah. we found before. <laughs> yeah. This boat just keeps on going, wow, doesn't how it? how did I get those body parts all the way down here? They roll downstairs. Ah, David! You imbecile. Do you realize what you've done? No. You've ruined my organization, killed my people, and now you're trying to kill me and steal from me? I guess, yeah. Counter steal, I say. I love those people! Well, we never needed the violence. I mean, you shot us first. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. Oh my god! <laughs> yes? 
I don't care about your sexual preference. Shut up and die quietly. <laughs> yeah. yeah! <laughs> no, you first! <laughs> I'm so <laughs> I'm I'm so happy they added that for you. <laughs> That's amazing. Take the swell goods. 12 millimeter pistol butt better. <laughs> Alright. MP prison door key. Let's let's just take a look at this really quick. It's a 12 millimeter pistol, but better. <laughs> I don't want to use it. Why not? Because it's too I good? I don't like the 12 millimeter pistol. <laughs> also, it's I a got a shotgun called 10 Down. So, it's like the Riot shotgun, but better. I think we'll use it for a little bit, yeah. Not that you have any ammo for it, but I sure. I got plenty of ammo for it. Oh, do you? I've just been using 4 hot buck this whole time. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Had a bunch of that stuff in your back pocket. Or Dragon's Breath, or Flaches, or Pulse Slugs, or Beanbag Rounds, or Slugs. Oh! You were just out of regular ammo. You I was just silly. out of regular buckshot. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we've uh... we killed David. Got the cat pressing machines. Got to go pay back our loan now. Yeah. We actually pulled it off. I don't believe it. Thank you, truly. Not only that, we also killed every single person from British Parliament, so they have no government now, and it'll descend into anarchy. Power vacuums! Hooray! <laughs> They're my favorite type of vacuum. Next to the Dyson ball. This episode brought to you by Dyson Ball Vacuum Cleaner. Seriously, they're not paying us, but please send me one, because I want one. They're really cool. I'm getting paid for all this, right? You're going to give me a Dyson Ball Vacuum Cleaner? Huh. <laughs> of course. Here's your payment. Yay! 500 ca- 500 caps! Secondly, I'll leave the machines in the shack and let Rocco's men know so we can get them someplace safe. Offer the tops books, of course, as I'm sure Rocco's appreciative for what we got him out of. 500 caps, and maybe a percentage of all of the caps you forge later? Ah, uh, mercenary type. Technically, yes. For every scrap metal you give me, I can make around 50 caps, and I'll let you have 80% of that. Oh, well, we're not gonna go around gathering scrap metals, so... That sounds like a lot of work. What's next for you, Joshua? Are you gonna become the new Prime Minister? Or Member of Parliament? Well... That's it, really. Pressing caps and enjoying life. Are you gonna get your ball sack stitched back together? If you don't mind, I like to keep traveling with you. It gets boring from time to time. Anyway, let's get back to Vegas and celebrate. I think Rocco is waiting. Once again, the day is saved. Thanks to the Powerpuff Girl! Wrong, wrong show. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. But, oh, for God's sake, stop looking at Mercury. Ooh. He's not... He's not your lover. He's so fascinating. <laughs> no, he isn't. <coughs> well, Mike, we've done it. <laughs> Can we get rid of them now? <laughs> Once again, we have saved the entire wasteland from... I don't even know what this time. We probably could have taken that cap pressing machine and used it for our own purposes. Had an infinite source of caps. We could have used oh, it for our own nefarious deeds and could have oh, just... Lit never mind. My mind's just flickered again. Where are you pointing that cowboy? <laughs> well now <laughs> someone's got a mouth on them you know in new vegas north 50 caps goes a very long way also was this boat built for giants <laughs> Can... Daddy, daddy, I can't reach the wheel. <laughs> I want to try the boat, daddy.